Welcome to Big Card Maniacs. I'm Jay. And I'm John. And today we are doing a tier list for random horror gimmicks from various promotions. Yep. So we put this list together just by coming up with people we remembered that had creepier gimmicks. And I don't even really know how we're going to rank them all, but they range from not scary at all, but still trying to be a horror character to your Undertakers and Canes. So this is all over the place, but let's get into it. And we're going to start with, let's start, let's get the, the normal guys out of the way. <laughs> the normal guys out of the way? The Undertaker. Yes, Undertaker. He's important. Undertaker's an S tier. I mean, really, there's so many levels to him. Minus Biker Taker. I, I like think. Biker Taker, though. Biker Taker's cool still. So. Yeah, but Ministry of Darkness Taker is still true, the true. best Taker. Okay, so just so you know the range of this, let's do a D tier. I think we'll go with... Uh, <laughs> the Yeti? <laughs> the Yeti from Halloween Havoc back in the WCW days. <laughs> Why it exists, I don't know. But I As, love it. Especially because it's a mummy. Does anybody even realize that? I'm sure lots of people realize that he's walking out as a mummy called the Yeti. That doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, so now we've got kind of like the scope of things. Um, but again, this is going to be completely random because it's going to be, oh, do we like these people? Yeah, okay, we'll put them here, sure. Let's go with more normal-ish people still. We'll go with, uh, what about Kamala? As a kid, Kamala scared the shit out of me. But I still walked around with a big rubber, his rubber toy. And it was my favorite thing ever. Even though he was so scary. Yeah. But, like, would you be scared of him if it was a horror movie? I don't think so. So I think that's where we have to go with this. Like, if it was a horror movie, would you be scared? Yeah. Okay. That. Hey, we're figuring out what yeah. the hell we're doing here. Because I wouldn't be scared of the Yeti, but if Undertaker has taken souls... I guess we'll figure that out. But The, the rules are going to change, I think. <laughs> Constantly. And people will go up and down, but I would put him as a B, I think. Because he, he does have that, like, voodoo Of feel. course. Which is very stereotypical of just black guys back in the day in not only wrestling, but in horror movies too. I don't know if you guys have seen Horror Noir on Shudder. Highly recommend. It goes through the history of just black actors and actresses in horror movies. And there's a massive issue with them just being stereotyped as voodoo people. It's crazy. Um, um, why don't we have a little fun? Okay. okay. Danhausen. Danhausen. <laughs> Danhausen. I would put... I would probably put him in the B. He's because he's so weird. I think that's the thing. But like, he's a good weird. But, you know, I think he's a C, a C tier. Yeah. He's creepier than the Yeti. Yes. He's very evil. Very nice. He's a C. Uh, he's a great guy. I think he's a. This isn't wrestling ability, by the way. <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. This is gimmick alone. Gimmick alone. So maybe he's too nice. If he wasn't so nice, he would be up in those Bs. Yeah, if he, if he was only very evil. If he just yeah. stopped, hard hard stop on very evil. Let's go with Abyss. Abyss, to me, would be an A. Because he's... he's Because he was the monster in TNA for so long. He's intimidating. He's creepy. He's, he's, he's massive. I would put him as A because he ran the show. There, there was no no other person could compete with Abyss. Okay, whoa, we have one in everything so far. Okay, this is gonna be a weird one. Bear Country, they're on the indies, but look them up. Their masks are so creepy. It's like they're stretching their faces. And they're awesome, by the way. I think they're going to do big things within the next few years. I'm gonna go B tier. They're massive, <laughs> massive guys. If you saw those guys in a horror movie coming at you, you're yep. fucking running big time. <laughs> yep. Um, speaking of massive men yep. with creepy masks, we've got the Bludgeon Brothers. I think they're maybe a C tier. Like they're massive, they're intimidating, but when it when it comes to like horror, like Eric Rowan maybe just walking around with like his mask, but they're better suited as as like the Wyatt family. Let's do C then. Okay. I think because I don't think Brody Lee is that scary as by himself to be honest. Yeah. Um, whether it's the exalted one or not, I don't know if it's his eyes being very beady. But like if I'm looking at him, yeah, he's massive, but he doesn't scare me. So then... Rowan with a sheep mask scares me. Yeah. So that's why... Which we not... don't have on here, but we can go on to 
the Wyatt, the Wyatt family as a whole. And I would put them as probably either A or S. They, they look like they're from your next, but they also have like they also just have, that whole cult vibe. Yeah, so it's like a mix of like Texas Chainsaw Massacre meets, it's like the Sawyer family meets Charles Manson. Like that right. kind of thing. I would put them S. They are creepy. The gimmick's great. And what's scarier about it is the fact that they do come off as like someone you would see in real life. And in The Strangers. Yeah. You got four people. Because you can see the black sheep is a <laughs> little Braun. Braun Strowman in the back. Yeah. Little Braun Strowman. <laughs> but imagine you're in a house and they're surrounding it. Yeah. Like, oh my god. And just Bray laughing in his rocking chair. Jeez. All right, let's let's have some fun. Let's I think we need to bring in someone from J JCW. Juggalo Championship Wrestling. His name's the Evil Dead. <laughs> it was Jump Steady. This is Violent J of the Insane Clown Posse's brother. JCW was super fun and I really miss it. And I think we need to go back and rewatch them and maybe even like do a reaction video of some sort. I don't know mm. how that would work and how copyright works yet. <laughs> but we'll figure it out. But Jump Steady is trash. <laughs> He's D tier because yeah. basically he would come in as like a zombie and he would just do stupid comedy shit. It's a terrible mask. He's bottom barrel, <laughs> but he was really fun. I did enjoy him. Let's stay on that JCW train and let's go with what most people would know as uh, Sarah Logan but it's crazy, Mary Dobson, who was Juggalo Championship Wrestling, like women's champion. She was awesome. Yeah. I wish she went back to this gimmick. There's still time. I don't, I think she's probably a C tier though. Like she's not scary. She she's, is. She's wild, that's all. She's wild and her photo shoots are more like horror. Like she dresses up like Freddy. She's in like creepy abandoned buildings, but her in-ring character, she's still just like wore you know, like a purple cutoff shirt, and wasn't that creepy? So we'll put her there, but I do really like her. Hmm, who the hell is this? Kevin Sullivan. Okay, we're doing Kevin Sullivan. Then. More like a cult style of character. This is where he had like the giant, aka Big Show, Loch Ness. It's like a whole uh, stable. Kamal, I think, was in there too. Yeah, like a whole stable of people to, to just take down Hulk Hogan in WCW. That's what people mainly remember Kevin Sullivan for. Well, he doesn't look very scary to me. I'd put him in the C. I mean, people remember him, but nah. Hold on, speaking of people I don't know, who the hell is this? The zombie from ECW. Okay. The ECW zombie, D tier. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we need to say about that because I don't even know who that is. Can you imagine seeing the Evil Dead, the Yeti, and the Why ECW are you saying it that way? Do they say that? Yes, the Yeti. And the Yeti! Let's go Sue Young. To me, she is A tier. Yep. Because the creepy ass brides, so good. I mean, right now she is little Susie, the cutest person <laughs> ever, which is equally as creepy simply because you know there's this darker side to her. So I, we should have put Susie here. Susie would, would probably be B tier because she's still scary, but in a different weird way. Let's, let's stay on the women wrestlers. We got a lot of guys out here. Who else do we have for women? This one's a weird one. We weren't sure if we should put this here. Amber Moon. She's, she's got like a werewolf vibe. She, she wears has, contacts, so that's the main reason. She wears contacts, her entrance. It's eerie, but definitely I would put her as a C. I <laughs> yeah, think. I think yeah. so too. Great wrestler. We're, I think we're going to load up this C tier based on what I'm looking at, at what's left. We didn't no. leave a lot of room for growth. Okay, okay. We're going to throw in an S tier. All right. No brainer. We need we need Kane. Okay. No <laughs> questions asked. This yeah. guy's he's terrifying. He's in his, he's in two horror movies as like... Oh, yeah. See no Jacob evil. Jacob Goodnight. There you go. You're right. We've already seen him in horror movies. Yeah. You know who we've also seen in a horror movie? Uh, well... This is Dustin Rhodes as Seven, but we saw him as Scare Package. Oh, yeah, Scare Package as... Uh, the Devil's Lake Impaler, and he's awesome in it. Highly recommend. And he's even more awesome in WCW when he returns as Seven. Only his vignettes. Only his vignettes. I yeah. mean, he's great, but the vignette is creepy. He's got a creepy feel to him. I'd put him in the B. Okay. Mainly, if you see the vignette of the kid, that's what the cover photo for this list is. Him, like, creeping outside a window. He turns the kid's eyes black. Very cool. He's a creepy guy. Who's a creepy guy? Sin Bodhi. 
<laughs> I want to put him A tier. Yeah, speaking of other people we've seen in horror... What was he in? He was in Zombie King. Oh, yes, he was he the was, Zombie was King zombie himself. King. And he looks really cool. He looks super disgusting. I mean, some people here... Remember in, him as re Kazarni? Yeah, yeah, remember, yeah, recognize him as Kazarni for that short stint. But yeah, he's definitely A. Like, And when you have a little bit of clown, it's kind of creepy. Well, Speaking of which... Let's go right into the clowns, then. Doink. Yep. Heel doink. Heel doink, I would do A. Yeah. Personally, because he was so crazy. And the fact that you never knew what he was going to do. You don't know what weapons he's going to pull out. You don't know if there's going to be multiple versions of him around. There's a lot of ways that like a horror movie could go with him. And people just inherently hate clowns, unless yep. you love them. Why don't we? Uh... <laughs> Why don't we hit him with one of the one of these little Jason the Terrible? <laughs> so Stampede Wrestling's own Jason the Terrible. I believe he was like only like he like only wrestled like Bret Hart, Owen Hart, and like Chris Benoit or something. But he's like a it was like a Calgary wrestling thing. And yeah, if you look up Jason the Terrible, the first thing that pops up is like him and Owen Hart. I'm putting him as D tier. Yes. Because all he's done is try to exploit Friday the 13th by getting a really shitty hockey mask. It's not even a Jason mask. It's just a goalie mask. What, who we, is this? That's uh, Waylon. Waylon what and why is he on this list? Because uh, he had a Charles like Manson gimmick or whatever. Okay, we're going to put him as D tier. Sorry, we put some people on here that were like, should we keep this? I don't there's, know. A, there's some people that I'm not seeing on here that... Their pictures should be on here. Well, it's too friggin' late. No Mordecai, no Kevin Thorne, and Ariel, which oh, is yeah. a big one for us. You're right. We no, did have some other images. No Sting, no Blade and Butcher. Where are all our images? Well, this is really frustrating. So we had way more than this. You're right. Gangrel's not here. Well, this is a shit show. Yeah. Let's continue with what we do have. Rosemary, I love her. I put her A. She's A. She has had some great, great storylines, and I miss her and Allie. I mean, right now, she's kind of, like, not scary. And plus, she is also in a horror movie. She is in Monster Brawl as Witch Bitch. Oh, yeah. But this was before she was actually Rosemary. So we reviewed it on our horror channel, Bloodbath and Beyond, but we didn't know who it was. We were just like, oh, cool, Witch Bitch. She's cool. Uh, but she was Courtney Rush at that point, and she wasn't Rosemary, so didn't know. All right, let's give the people what they want. Is it this? No. It's a certain former wrestler who had the best horror gimmick ever. Well, there's a bunch of people here. I have no idea. Of Guardians of the Galaxy fame. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're going with Leviathan, Mr. Batista. I didn't even know that this was a thing. <laughs> so when was he Leviathan? When he was in, like, OVW. Like, this is, like pre-call up like him and john cena like the prototype were like wrestling each other 2000 maybe? okay how scary was he because he doesn't he doesn't look, look at scary. those contacts yeah they're he's got like little yellow yeah. contacts on there's some cool promo images of him grabbing barbed wire but it's hilarious because then he got called right up and became deacon batista for devon so he went from being this like demon leviathan to a deacon i'm putting him as c tier because he has a cool look. And he has a see, cool look. If that was a, if 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 Leviathan was in a horror movie, you'd be scared of him. Absolutely. Yeah. And if he can grab barbed wire. Wow. Let's go with Insidious One. So Insidious One, she's on the independent scene. She does a lot of the, the ladies' night out. She's on Mission Pro Wrestling, I think. She's cool. I like her. She's like half horror, half anime, it seems. Yeah, she's got like a G.I. Joe type of... Right. Like, uh, I, I, I may put her C. She's not full horror. Fair. You know? I'd put her, I'm really looking forward to what we're going to do. I'm, I'm putting her on the same level as Amber Moon. Okay, let's do Boogeyman. He's creepy. I'd, I'd probably put him A. He's nowhere near the S tier, but... He was creepy for what he did. And any person who eats live worms. I can't believe that he was actually doing that, but. He had, he had a good dance to him too. And he did like his little singing. Yeah. Or he'd just show up like in a closet or something with a clock. He ate like. He ate Jillian. Jillian uh, Garcia's, Garcia's like face. Whatever, yeah. Come on, dude. Let's. Pa Paul Bear. <laughs> I don't think he's scary in the slightest. I would do D tier. Yeah, I mean. 
We like him. We, we like, like him. him. He did. He did a good job. And you know what sucks? Here's another person that's not on this. That's not on here that we had the image for. Father James Mitchell, another manager who is an eerie person. He would be. So Paul Bear D tier. Mitchell, I would probably put C tier. I would put C tier too. He had that like devilish look to him. His eyebrows are nuts. Who do you want? <laughs> Luchasaurus. I don't know why I put him in here. Because he was kind of creepy. If you go back and watch some of the Impact stuff with Sue Young and Allie, and they go into like, I forget what it's called, whatever like their hell was, you can see Luchasaurus there. He's I'm hanging gonna, out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him in D tier. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> He's a really nice guy. Yeah. Uh, but look at how cool he looks. He's got a green tongue. You put him in C? Oh, yeah. Fine. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Mankind. I would put him in A because, like, him and Abyss are very similar. <laughs> very I'm true. I'm sorry. And but... he was always, like, really, like, crazy. His character yeah. work, like, going, like, insane. Especially, like, the boiler room yeah. stuff that he was doing. Fantastic promos back in the day. Finn Balor, demon. The demon king here. Demon Balor. Entrance gives him a little bit of a credit, but wrestling-wise, look like it, he looks cool. C or B for me. I'm gonna go with B, mainly because I like the kind of like backstory. There's some lore to his like mm -hmm. the Demon Kings. I did a video on it, so check that out. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, horror wrestling gimmicks. It covers ten people, probably all all on this list. <laughs> Elena Black. I want to put her in the middle. She comes to the ring with like a coffin, and it often either has like pictures or a lot of the time she has tarot cards and she'll like throw them out and she'll choose a tarot card for somebody and then she starts slicing people's like webbing of their fingers with tarot cards this one's weird midian 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 was a member viscera is not even on here either you're right this is the worst this is we have easily... like no gangrel no viscera this is this is the worst we've got freaking we've got <laughs> evil, the, dead. evil dead Zombie, ECW Zombie, Jason the Terrible, like, Luchasaurus, and we don't have the good ones. We don't, no wonder why our S tier sucks right now. Midian's, don't, are you suggest? nope, Midian is not going there. No. He's D, C, C he's or C. D. He's a C because he did have some creepy stuff in the hardcore matches and he was like a follower of the Ministry of Darkness. I would put Viscera in the C as well. What would you do with Gangrel? Yeah. Gangrel would be in the A for me because, of course, he brought in, you know, Christian and Edge, had the whole brood The thing. brood itself, yeah. I think, would be yeah. A tier. Yeah. I a think that Gangrel by himself, I guess, would probably be A tier. I would put him A tier. Looking at everyone there, definitely A tier. I would have Kevin Thorne and Ariel in the A tier. Okay. Mord I, uh, Mordecai would have been in the B tier. He looked cool. I don't, I don't know him. Uh, let's yeah, go. Some, let's go with some S tier. The Fiend is the easy S yeah. tier. The stuff that he's doing with like both Bray Wyatt in the Funhouse and what he's doing with Alexa Bliss right now. Like I think that Bray Wyatt just has it. Yeah. Look, he's in there twice. He's in the S tier twice. I know. And his inspiration is in D. Who is who? Uh, Waylon. I forget his last name, but Bray Wyatt wanted to do his like Wyatt family based off of that character. So he drew inspiration because he wore the Hawaiian shirts and oh had, yeah. right yes. So that's why I think he should be up in in C. He doesn't deserve those D's with everyone else. Fine. He just wasn't a good wrestler. Vampiro. He was spooky. He was like more yeah. like a misfits kind of figure. I know. I'd probably put him in B. I'd I'd put him in the ranks. Like if you're looking across the board, I can see him and Kamala being on like the same level and like. I want to see Vampiro versus Elena Black. Yeah. I think that would be so dope. And finally, this is the worst list. <laughs> finally, the Ascension. Probably S on par with the Bludgeon Brothers. What? Or C? Sorry, C. <laughs> oh my that. C. What the hell? Yeah. S. S when they were with Stardust. I'm know. curious to see them now because now they are on the indie scene. They're you, almost the same. You should have seen what they were when the Ascension first started in uh, NXT. It was like them, I want to say like Raquel Diaz or so, or someone like that, and Ricardo Rodriguez, they did like a Dark Order style of gimmick before Dark Order was a thing. Oh yeah, where's Dark Order? Again, no the Dark Order. <laughs> well, we kind of failed on this one, guys. And what are you going to do? 
Yeah, at least we're giving you ones you never would have guessed would have been on here, like Jason the Terrible. I've never even seen some of these people. I didn't know about the Batista thing. That's probably my biggest shock, <laughs> is Leviathan. The rest, like the ECW zombie, who gives a shit about that guy? I don't like seeing Danhausen in a, such a low tier. I think he is deserving of the highest <laughs> bracket of all tier lists. However, I can't I can't just argue all day. What do you mean? I said he could go up. You said he's too nice to be up there. Fine. You can put him up to S if you want. Very nice. Let's <laughs> make his day. Put him on A. Him and Doink. They would run run the show together. Yeah, but like cl Oh, imagine Look at that. Imagine that stable. So you have Sin Bodhi, Danhausen, and Doink. This is my dream, and a lot of people's nightmare, probably. Although, Danhausen busts out his, like, his Homer Moo Moo and starts doing tequila. You know, everything's good in the world. Uh, what do you guys think of our terrible tier list that we've Frankensteined? Look at it, it's fitting the theme. We Frankensteined <laughs> this all together. We lost some parts. We botched it. We did absolutely <laughs> we botch this. this. We have the images. Tier Maker didn't say... Hey, we've not included some. What'd you guys think? If you guys want to rank your own version of this monstrosity, the link is in the description. Like this video if you liked it and uh, suggest other tier lists that you'd like to see us create or rank if you have them, link them. Otherwise, feel free to subscribe if you want. I hope our other content is better than this, but there's no guarantees. Yeah.